Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, I really don't understand Germany's weather, man. We're in April. Look what's going on in my car. It feels like December. The sun, the reflection is just too much. Yeah, you see? The snow. In April. Towards the end of March, we're already celebrating that. Oh, okay. You know, it's getting warmer and, and Germany's like, <laughs> tricked you. Correct April Fool. Look at this. It's so freaking cold. But anyway, I'm about to go to the store for the first time without a mask. <laughs> so, um, as some of you guys already know, um, last Sunday, most of the restrictions were lifted. So, um, no more um, restriction as regards gathering, as regards wearing masks in public places. On the website, it says that, uh, I mean, the like it's no longer compulsory of course to wear a mask but there's a recommendation to so you trust germans um germans will always um take a recommendation as a as a mandatory rule so we'll see how it is at the stores um but yeah so today i'm gonna go to the store for the first time i'll show you guys how it is yeah my wife already like my wife was already at the store so she already experienced it so my first time let's go see how it is without mask let's go see how beautiful or ugly some people are and then we'll decide if we want to keep the mask on you know to cover those things or to leave it off all right guys stay tuned <laughs> So guys, I'm done shopping. Got everything that I wanted to get. And now, uh, yeah, I actually didn't didn't need to get much, but it was quite interesting to see, you know, or to experience how it felt like to be in the store for the first time without a mask. Um, but it was also interesting to see um, those that were still wearing masks, although they didn't have to. Yeah, that goes to show you that um, Germany or Germans are quite law abiding even when there is no law to abide to <laughs> they will turn a suggestion into a rule and they will um, be mad at you for not following that suggestion it's crazy man um, it's one of the things that makes germany safe because um, yeah crime is not very big at least um, not in the outskirt um, cities like in the areas that are not really big cities you have little to no crime but in bigger cities like uh, berlin or um, i don't know 
Hamburg or like bigger cities then you get to see uh, some level of crime but it's nothing compared to some other countries that I've been to uh, so but yeah it was quite interesting to see um, but it's now everybody's choice to decide whether to wear one or not <laughs> as long as there is no um, condemnation stare you know this stare to look at you like why are you not wearing a mask but yeah it's uh, yeah everyone everyone can choose it's not illegal um, to wear one it's also not illegal not to wear one but yeah but there's one thing though if you were to ask me would there be like would there be any reason why why you would say um a mask should be worn or the wearing of masks um should be made compulsory um uh, i would say yeah there's one reason for the reason of mouth order jesus christ of nazareth my guy mouth order let me say it the way we say it in nigeria mouth order because this one does not demand it does not need phonetics mm -mm. Mount Odor does not need good pronunciation. You call it how it is. Mount Odor. Hey! For the reason of Mount Odor. I don't mind wearing masks. No. Like, I don't care. If the government's like, okay, for those that have Mount Odor, please, masks are compulsory. I will say thank you very much. Don't take it away, please. Man! Previously, during the days of masks, you could go very close to people and just, in, in fact, you could whisper into their ears because you were wearing masks. mask. You're, you're very confident that, I mean, whatever it is that is coming out of your mouth will stay in that mouth or go back to sender. Nobody, nobody's going to perceive it. But now, man, now you have to maintain Abstand. German, Germany calls it Abstand. Distance, 1.5 meters. Actually, because of mouth order, they should make it two meters or three meters for our safety and for their safety. Because even me too, I'm guilty sometimes, you know. In the days of the wearing of masks, I'm saying in the days like it's like far away. But yeah, last week or whatever, previously, uh, you could just go out to the supermarket and you're like, oh shoot, I forgot to brush my teeth. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you're the only one that's going to smell it. But now, before you go out, you need to check. If you are about to pass out, if you are about to pass out just from your own breath, then something is wrong. Then you have to brush like two or three times at least, you know. But there are people who, you know, the people that are colorblind. Yeah. The people that are also smell blind. I don't know how you can be smell blind, but they can't pass. They can really smell. They can perceive, perceive the smell. And they are, sometimes they are like very confident, you know. Like for me, I know some days when I don't brush or when I don't use Dio, I'm very, very self-conscious. I try not to go too close to people or when I speak, I try to speak from a distance because I know, okay, <laughs> some things need to be fixed, you know. But there are people who will come to you, so much confidence, I wish I had that confidence. They will come to you and even try to whisper to you. And they have a H in every word. How are you? Her head that you bought. How did you find H in bought? But yeah, they would pronounce it very close to you. And you would just be receiving the anointing. And that's the point when you wish that masks were compulsory again. Not just normal masks. Not this medical mask. No, no, no. FFP2. In English, FFP2. You know the ones where you can't really breathe through? Yeah. That's the one that we need for mouth order. Because uh, the order will not come out. It will stay with you. If you can't perceive it, good for you. But if you can, it will motivate you to do something. But seriously, I'm begging on the German government. I know right now um, we have taken away compulsory wearing of masks because of corona. But there is a deadlier virus than corona. The virus has existed from time immemorial. Nigeria said time immemorial. <laughs> For over 2,000 years ago, before mouth order, since from the fall of man, mouth order has existed. This virus has plagued 
different countries and communities. He has no respect for age, color, race, mouth or door. Hmm. And the thing about mouth or door is that it doesn't have symptoms. You know Corona, when you have one, it has symptoms. Mouth or door does not have symptoms. The only symptom is bad smell. So let's do something. Let's enforce FF85 again. But only for mouth or door. We need to have test kits. You know we have snail tests uh, for Corona. We need snail tests for mouth or door. Where you breathe into the test kit and the test kit go bagam pam pam in red, red. Not only one line, like five lines will show. Pa! <laughs> then you know that your own case is different. And then from that snare test, you will know if you are positive or negative. And then we will know if we need to give you FFP5 or try or fear. Because you know, there, there are different levels to this stuff. Different levels. But yeah, guys, stay safe. Stay safe from mouth order. And if you are the spreader of mouth order, please protect the people around you. Solidarity. Check. Check before you leave the house. And if you have it and you, you can't afford to brush before you leave, then please, two meters, three meters upstand, distance. Social distancing is very important for this case. But uh, yeah, thank you for listening to this um, public service announcement. <laughs> All right, guys, <laughs> I need to go home. Jason is not feeling well. Actually, the whole family have not been feeling well. Jason has been throwing up. We, you know, we had the flu. I think it's because of the weather and everything that is going on. But yeah, pray for us, guys, that we can uh, recover fast. But yeah, stay safe. <laughs> And um, see you guys next time. Bye.